What's going on there, fellow YouTubers? Chris back with you guys. I'm glad I could jump in here and make another video for you guys. Okay, this one's cool, but made a mistake. My last video I did, there's something I left out by accident, and it's probably one of the most important things you're going to see in this photo. Um, and another thing is, I noticed something else that looked intelligently made after I did the video. So let's jump into that. I want to show you this. Now, you guys are aware, I've showed you this before. This, of course, is Themis. And you got the daytime infrared mosaic of Gale Crater, a landing site. And, of course, this changes. Now, this is the nighttime uh, mosaic, uh, and it's infrared. Um, I'm not convinced now. After I've been saying this, guys, I, I looked at this and I'm going, I'm not convinced this is strictly infrared. It seems to me it's like borderline radar. What do I mean by that? Look at it just in this dark spot right here. And it's going to move up over here once it goes to the nighttime. And look at the detail in this. Now look at the detail now. Detail in here. Suddenly this stuff here pops out of nowhere. And, and if you've, you guys watch my videos, and thanks for your comments, by the way. Now some of you guys said, oh, well, it's nothing but, you know, a lot of these like these right here. These were craters. But when you see the infrared, or more, I'm thinking more radar now than I am thinking of infrared. It may be a combination. Let me explain to you why. When I did this video here, and you could look it up, it's called uh, uh, Radar Images of the Moon Show Great Detail. Now on this side, I'm going to drop myself over here for a minute. Um, you've got, on the right-hand side, you've got Posidonius Crater, and then, of course, you've got Sea of Serenity, right? Look at the difference in radar and how much more detailed. Look at Posidonius Crater. Look at these weird kind of 90 degree angles. So on and so forth. This is going to become brainy because this wasn't set up to be shown up close. But check this out. Look at the, all of these things lined up in a row. And they, they want you to believe that this might have been like lava tubes or something else like that on the moon. Is it impossible? No, that's not impossible. But the way I'm seeing that laid out, that looks intelligently made. Um, Unless, of course, nature's that crafty, that's a good possibility. Now, look at the difference here. Not a whole lot going on in the right picture on Posidonius Crater. Look at the difference. This is what I'm saying. I believe that this is much more than just infrared. I think it's more of a radar image as well. Now, let me show you guys something. I think you think you guys would definitely think this is pretty sweet. So now, again, we're going to look at the nighttime right here. And you can see it right here. And I showed you guys this what looks like structures. You can see the, the actual contour right here. In fact, I'll just go like this. Um, let's go with, eh, we're just going to use this. Um, you can see where it goes like this. Contours like this. Has this 90 degree angle. Goes like this. Comes back around. And of course, you've got this that's over this other piece. Now, I've showed you that, and I'm not going to get too much into that. Now, check this out. I thought this was pretty cool. Suddenly, now I can see this now. This is what I, I totally seen after the fact. Now, is this a crater or is it part of something else or these structures now you might say structure what do you mean well keep in mind it is a satellite view so we're seeing above now notice it has one two three very faint lines one two three and it has all of this this weird design but look at the way this thing is set up look at that what is the chance of that being natural now let's enhance this thing and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put white over here right where these lines are and you can see this thing now. I'm going to drop myself back down here again. Whoops. Just put myself right there. All right. So now we've got... Now check this out. You can still see one, two, three. See the rounding. See the lines. It's there. All I do is just enhance it to bring it out a little bit better. That, to me, does not look natural. And coupled with this, again, this does not look natural at all. Um, and you can see that. And I think I've, I've sharpened this up just a hair bit. And you can see that. See it? That's a little bit more grainy, but you can see that right there. Okay. All right. Now, this is the part that's pretty cool. Okay. I'm surprised none of you guys even seen this because I was actually surprised you didn't. I was like, what? Um, but check this out. You guys will love this. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the natural photo or the, the original. Um, and I'm going to show you this. Now, let me back out. Watch this. You guys see it yet? Tell me what this is at the bottom of the screen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in. You guys are definitely going to want to see this. Check this out. <laughs> what in God? What is that? Look at boom. Nice and crisp. See that? Goes like this, and it kind of looks like it goes like this above, and there's something below it. What could that be, guys? And it appears to have a shadow to it. Now, let's back out. That thing is as plain as day. Now, let's do a little enhancing. Okay, now, the reason why I did this is check this out. You can actually see these physical lines in it. Watch. Very blurry, but boom, here. Goes down like this, another line here. 
Boom. Now, make sure you guys are watching in 1080, or at least 720. I forget which one this one is. Um, but you can see these lines are pretty darn crisp. And you can see, look at, like I said, right there, all this is is just basically using darkening. Just, just bring down the contrast, darken it up a little bit, and you guys can see this, right? All right. So, again, do this, and you can see all I did is use the burn tool here. And you can see that right there, the burn tool. And what I do is I just went over like this, and it would bring out anything that has any darkness to it. And, of course, in this case, it was darker lines. Okay. So, now check this out. I made it a little bit more grainier, but that's not what I was trying to do. But check this out. Let me rotate this for you guys, so you guys can have a better look at this. Now, to me, I, I don't know about you guys, but this does not look natural. I'm going to bring it way out. Check this out. I'm going to bring it way out for a moment. Here's that other part right here, that other, what looks like structure. That, the t now, again, guys, I'm going to test, here's the original. One, two, and three. Okay. Check that out. What does that? Okay. And of course, you've got this piece here. Look at the way that's like straight. Now look at the look at the just the radius of this thing. I'm wondering, guys, if this is real, meaning it's uh, is it is it a roof? Is it like a whole giant cover with these structures below it? Maybe due to the sun, the radiation. Is it possible that's what that is? Is it possible that's what all of this is down here, where we see these funky shapes? Now I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this again. Is it possible that's what this is? Because this also appears to be off the ground. You can see one, two, three, and you can see it looks like it's above the ground. Is it possible the structures are underneath it? Kind of like the Pueblo Indians, where they, 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 they uh, dug into hillsides and, and, and cliff sides and made their own uh, structures inside that. Is it possible they did something like that, or are they just simply structures? The reason why I say that is because they appear to be off the ground. And this thing is no different. I'm going to tell you why, because look, you can see what looks like a shadow underneath it, right here. See that? It has a shadow. It's casting a shadow, like the sun is coming from, well, I'm going to use it this, this way, it's coming from the top here, down a little bit, or it's almost noontime, and you can just barely see what looks like a shadow. Again, look right here, this, I'm going to use the term mountain ridge, or whatever this is, you can see what looks like a shadow. Is it possible that this thing is what that is? It's a, like, a, like a whole giant roof type thing, and all of these structures underneath it, or is it just one big massive structure i don't know what's crazy about it is i looked at this and i'm going okay why don't they show this in the daytime uh, infrared notice how you see it here plain as day i'm going to go ahead and zoom into this so you guys can have a better look well it's not going to allow me to okay no problem okay you don't see that in the daytime infrared it's almost like they purposely moved it down so you can't see that but again here no detail watch what happens and it's going to move up to here there's that other piece that looks like a structure. I'm convinced more now that this is maybe a combination of infrared slash radar, and that's why we're seeing these objects. And this object here, watch it again. This is not from me. This is actually on this page. And you can see this pretty well. Watch this. Right here at the bottom. Keep your eye open. It's coming to switch now. Check this out. It's there as plain as day. And, of course, you guys will get the link, so you will check this out again. Tell me what you guys think. This, to me, is absolute proof. This is a structure on Mars. No way, no how. Now, is it possible? I haven't thought of this. Is it possible it's a lake bed? Like it's like a like a like a lake. But it appears to be off the ground, so that kind of defeats that. And why would it be so crisp? Like it's above the ground and crisp. It's made the way it is. I don't I don't see that as an accident. Look at this. Like it comes down. Goes across, look at this, perfect radius kind of thing. And it looks like there's something underneath it. You can see that. Now I'm going to go ahead and do this. See that? There's something underneath, or it just blends in with the... But whatever that thing is, it's casting a shadow. Just like this ridge here. A couple of these other ridges that are sticking up, and it's got a shadow that's casting. I believe these are also structures. Look at this. See the way these things are? I believe these, these things are structures, and I think all of this darker gray is actually covering this is an actual covering of now either they're manipulating these photos or um it's because of the radar or infrared as they call it of course it's two different things but are they using the combination radar with this and i think that's the case this is the reason why you see so much more again with this moon 
you see a whole lot more detail. Infrared won't do that. Radar will. Now, is it a combination of that? That's a good possibility. You guys tell me what you think, because this is the original. I'm going to back out of this. Check that out. To me, this is 100% intelligently made. I'm going to zoom way in for the people who have these, these uh, phones and these, uh, these tablets and stuff. What the hell is that, guys? Let me darken it up. Check this out. Now, although this is why I hate zooming in, because everything just looks like crap when you zoom in. But check this out. I'm gonna I'm gonna back out and just back out slowly, and have a better look. To me, no way, guys. There's no way. Now, a lot of people said, "Oh, all I see is like like mounds and craters." Now, guys, you made a great point. A lot of you guys seen this. A lot of these what are supposed to be craters. They have like an octagon, hexagon shape to them, and that's just. That doesn't happen in nature. Not many of them put together. Sorry, just doesn't happen. Now, again, we have this feature. Look at the way that thing is shaped, guys. Whatever the hell this thing is, and again, here's your original. And you can see very faintly, one, two, three. I don't know if you guys can see that. But one, two, you can see these things branching off. And look at that nice curvature. Whatever the hell that thing is, no way, no how, does that look like it's natural? Is it me? I don't think so. Here's the original. Okay. Here's your original picture. And you can see that as plain as day sitting right there. And then, of course, you've got this one here. This structure here. To me, this is a structure, guys. I don't, you know, it, it just, it, it, it's, there's no way. Out of all of this, what looks like kind of blurry and crap and everything else that goes around with it, this is the most crispest item you can see. It can't get any more crisp than that. Look at that. This, to me, screams intelligently made. This is what they're here for, guys. They're not there to look at dirt. They're not there to say, ooh, building blocks. Oh, it's a lake bed, whatever, whatever. Between this area here, which I said right now the rover, and if we do this, we'll go ahead and do this. And I showed you guys where the rover landed here, went down over here. I'll do it with this because it kind of looks goofy. Um, it was right around this area that it landed, went like this, which is about a mile, mile and a half, and just went along. It's been doing this. It's supposed to be making its way up this hillside or this mountainside, but look at all of this stuff laying right there. Look at nice, perfect straight lines. One, two, three. Weird shapes going on. And, of course, this is not even a detailed picture, meaning fine, high-res photo. So, therefore, these things could be multiple structures. could be hundreds of structures sitting right here. We would never know the difference. Or... It is one big thing, and it's covering all the structures underneath. And again, I'm not convinced it's simply an infrared. I think it's more of a radar as well, um, because you can see much more detail. And here we go with that other structure. And, of course, we've got this item right here. Guys, tell me what you think. To me, this is one of the probably one of the biggest smoking guns. There's no way somebody could say that's a simple rock. Again, this is a, this is a satellite photo, so this thing would have to be quite large. And again, the reason why I say that, because check this out. Let's back it up. Again, here is where the rover landed. And, of course, it would be this little pipsqueak little thing. Right along. And look at the size of this thing. Are you kidding me? That is huge. <laughs> That's absolutely huge. So, guys, tell me what you think. And like I said, I got scatterbrained on it. I, I was so worried about, well, not worried, but I was actually doing this area here. Up in the upper part here. Totally went blonde on this here to do this one here, this part. And I'm going, wow, this is the biggest item I wanted to show people, and I totally went scatterbrain. But uh, again, look at this. Check these out. Look at the way these things, these items are. And it's good eye on you guys when you see, oh, well, there's more than one hexagonal-looking shape, uh, what looks like craters, supposed craters. Um, or are they really? We don't know. See, in the regular photo, I think it's more regular, and they're saying it's daytime uh, infrared. I think that's more of a regular, and then when they did the, I'm thinking, again, I think it's more of a radar image than it is infrared or a combination, and now you're seeing this, what looks like actually might be structures under the dirt. Big difference. Now, guys, tell me what you think. Between this area, this one here, you got all of this right here, where the rover again would be here, looking at, you know, Gale Crater, or, you know, Mount Shop. And we got this item right here now up in the upper left. And you can see this thing is actually designed. Look at the way this thing, like I said, I just took the burn tool and these lines came right out. Look at this. 
It's very, very faint, but you can see a line, thin line going just like this here. One, two. It's there. I promise you it is. What is doing that? What the hell is it? And why is it there? I'm convinced, too, these are all structures. You can see just the way they're, they're shaped and everything else. I think these are all structures. All right, guys, tell me what you guys think. Again, I just wanted to do this because this, this, um, this last one, I totally forgot. Again, I went scatterbrain on this. And I was like, oh, I can't believe that. I'm going to have to make a second part of this. So I got out of work, figured I'd do this up for you guys. Because I think you guys would... To me, this is another smoking gun, guys. This is more than one smoking gun we've seen so far. And this one here almost puts a nail in the coffin for NASA as far as I'm concerned. But you guys give me your take on it. Let me know what you think. If you're a new uh, viewer, you want to subscribe, subscribe. Then hit that little bell there and you'll get notifications uh, anytime I have a new video. I got another one coming up and I got some kind of these moon anomalies you guys are going to like. It's going to make you question, you know, some of these photos about the moon. And I'm not saying that, you know, people are going to jump right into, oh, yeah, because they're all fake. No, 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 no. You're going to see it and you're just going to go, okay, so really, what's going on with this photo or photos? So stay tuned for that. And you guys uh, will see exactly what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Always appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video.